Okay, we're going to do a little science project here, and we're going to try to remove the rust and restore this cast iron cookware. And we're going to go with cola versus vinegar, see which one turns out better. They both work, and you can see lots of videos of both of them working pretty well. But we're going to see exactly which one works better. So on this pan, this is a, I'm pretty sure this is a Kelty Ridgeway. Dutch oven, and uh, it's so so rusted here you can't even read the ridge way. I can kind of see it, but I've seen these before. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So you can see this thing is roached. It came off of Coles Island by Folly Beach. Um, There's a little island with the out there, and I'm just restoring these for my buddy that owns the place. This is a little thank you for letting me camp out there. Um, but they were just sitting out in salt air underneath the cabin, and you can see that they are terrible shape. So this little skillet here was in the same shape and I spent about, you can see that's a lodge, I spent about 30 minutes with a steel wool pad and I'd let it soak in CLR for about 10 minutes before that and after 30 minutes I basically took it from that to just that. Really didn't do much more than get the surface rust off of it. So to make the test a little bit better, I'm going to do the lid of the same kettle in the vinegar. Just old cheap ass Walmart vinegar. I hate Walmart, but it's good for cheap stuff like this. So why not? And uh, then we're just going to do the kettle in the cola. So basically it's phosphoric acid in the cola versus just the natural properties of vinegar. And uh, so I'm going to get my soaking going. I'm going to do the kettle in this tub here inside of a garbage bag and then I'm just going to use garbage bags to do the other ones because that will save you a lot of space so you can just kind of lay flat and put enough vinegar in it and shut the garbage bag up. And we'll come back, uh, we'll let these soak for a solid 24 hours and see what we're dealing with. 